Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're on our way to the Americas. We've had early notification of the weekly challenges. As you can see there, there's three hours remaining. But we're able to take you to next week's races. So we will start with what will be number five. It's Watkins Glen. It is Watkins Glen. So it's not one of the hardest ones out there. This is relatively straightforward. He says, quite happy. So we're going to change car and we're going to take the Super Formula SF19. Currently running 929.95. So this is 12 laps of Watkins Glen course. And for those people that have been unable to access this race and make it visible, you need to have completed or activated the menu book and potentially be level 50 to be able to uh, access, access this race. If you aren't, you've just got to keep progressing through the game. But please watch it because when it comes available, you'll get the chance to do it. So car settings will be racing on hard tyres. That would suggest we're going to go for a no stop. I'm probably actually going to take the mediums. And we'll do a one stop. We'll just have to see how we go. So front suspension is absolutely standard. No changes. Rear diff fully customizable that comes with the car. We've set that to 555. Downforce 1600 on the rear, which is the minimum. 1200 on the front, which is the minimum. Fully customizable ECU set to 100. Power is strict to 100 also. The transmission is just set to 330. We have nitrous, but you can't adjust it. We have an overtake button we can use. Normal turbocharger with anti lag set to strong. Hmm. Question is if we change that down to an off. We would use less fuel, but it's not. Let's not worry about that. Fuel should be absolutely fine. There's nothing else added because there's nothing else required. It's relatively a fixed and set car. So with that being the case, let's get to the race. Settings will be assist, traction control one, default ABS, everything else off. Controller settings. We're on a G29, so we have controller steering sensitivity five. Feel free to play with that to find your setting for your steering wheel. It does have an effect. You've just got to find what works for you. Force feedback max torque 7. Force feedback sensitivity 7. Let's dive straight in. So we'll leave the fuel map where it is. We'll get an understanding of how many laps we're going to complete. We're starting in 20th place. We'll be a little bit cagey off the start. These cars move very, very quickly. An immense amount of downforce. Sometimes my brain doesn't go fast enough to keep up with my eyesight, to keep up with my hands or my feet. So, I'll find a way into this chicane. We're a little bit cagey to start with. We might be able to bomb through there much, much quicker. Flat out round that corner. Breaking on the 200. We're not making any gains on these AI. We are 16.8 seconds behind the lead car. may take you a few laps to tune yourself into this to get up and get the speed there and get the car moving and going around the circuit and keeping as much speed as you can going these cars work best at speed that's when they generate the downforce 16.4 seconds back breaking on the 200 breaking down to the apex and letting go we're not particularly trail braking we're just Breaking the car into the corner, 15.5. Mr. Fraga leads the pack. We're now into Sugawara's slipstream. I was going to say jet stream, but that's not going to work. See if we can hang him out as we get past him. There we go, down to fourth. Slowly through here, slowly, gently steer it through. 
Back on the gas, you can take this car almost without lifting. So it took us one lap to take one place. We're on our way. So fuel's looking good at 12.4 laps. We're in with the purple sectors. You will do on lap or two though. Our first lap was the fastest lap of the race, a 130. With 13 seconds back, Mr. Sasaki is going to move over and let us through. Mr. Kawakami next, Mr. Okamoto, Mr. Benelli. All waiting for us to uh, make the move. We get a little bit of a bump there, but we're in the draft. Gonna go three wide on the 200. Breaking into the apex, lift off and back on the gas. Just watch that back end doesn't rotate. As said through the setup, we're running the minimal downforce up to 15th place. 12.7 seconds off the back. We're probably just going to wait for these guys this time. It's too busy to get stuck in. We'll let them do what they do. Look for a gap through the underside. Oh, there we go. Nice and down the inside. We switch to the outside line. Up into tenth, 11th place, chasing 10th. So 12.25 seconds back. Mr. Mangiano next in the target list. Fastest lap, 127.511. Tires are feeling good. An early break by Mr. Mangiano got him out of our racing line. got a seriously good tune for this car it works very very well this is a no rain circuit you don't get rain here so there's no need to worry about torrential downpours as we just complete lap 3 12 262 back to the front we're in 10th place we're halfway there of expecting the first stoppers in the next two laps, laps if they're going in for softs our tyres are looking pretty decent the rears are taking a bit of a pound but brake balance we can move to the front if we want to to try and take some of the stress off the rears before they start to cook up too much we're going down the outside we've got a bit of a clatter Made away past the ninth car into ninth place. So, Mr. Gallo, there, we're just going to get him on the acceleration. There we go, braking just after the 200. Mr. Sasaki next in seventh place. 14.5 seconds to the front to Drummond. We've been running in a bit of traffic this lap, so let's just see if we can start to put the hammer down again. There we go. It's a little bit slower. Drummond's now got the fastest lap. 126.770. That is a properly quick lap. Let's see if we can carry fifth gear into the chicane at the end of here. Five seconds behind Cookabun. Then we're into the real usual names. We don't know who's in fourth place. That's got to be Fraga, I would suggest. We went through there in fifth gear. Point three four one back to the leaders.
Tires are looking really good. Looks like a no stopper possible. Doesn't look like we're going to get the fastest lap of the race. 1.1 seconds out. See if we can push for that. He's only 0.08 faster than our fastest lap, which was lap 2. We can get the overtake going though. We can use some of that. Might as well use the overtake where we can. Might as well use it. We don't want to have any incidents. Let's just push on 0 0.23 down using overtake. Up into sick, the little bump on Cookerbun's butt. There's the fastest lap of the race, the overtake, half of it used. We're going to save that for a little bit. In Astroza, normally the Porsche driver. We'll see if we can just close up on his six. Oh, I made light and easy work of that. No seventh gear. Through there, really rapid. See if we can do another time zone. There should be Fraga next. Yes, it is. 9.7 seconds to the front. We're on lap 7, so over halfway. Tyres are looking good. Using the old uh, nitrous button really did cook that rear left, didn't it? So fourth place now with what looks like five laps remaining. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mr. Yamanaka next on the list and once you get used to the car it really is just about being smooth knowing where to put the car when to turn in how to react if the back end tweaks at all thankfully due to the uh, numb rear axle using the magic 555 it isn't that tricky front left taking a bit of heat as we go through there but we're good just 2.8 seconds now to Mr. Beauvoir as we sit quite in a relatively straightforward position of third place just 6.8 seconds to the front 6.6 .6 seconds to the front if we can get Mr. Beauvoir into a racing spirit and we get him to drag us to the front lap 8 as we progress towards lap 9 he looks like he's going to the pits he is Drummond's gone to the pits as well so this should be drive to the finish for us we've just got to nurse that back left tyre Yamanaka has come through, 3.3 seconds. We're just going to start to pull away. Those single stoppers on the soft tyre.
I have a feeling this back left tyre is going to start to complain just a little bit. Thought we overran that corner, but we still took out 0.2 of a second. Expect Fraga to start pushing, start coming for us. On to lap 10, three laps to go, 10, 11, 12. Inostroza and Kukabun go to the pits. We've used slightly more fuel than they have, so they're just going to take tyres. We're 6.7 seconds ahead of Yamanaka. They expect to see Fraga just take the pain and start to chase us. I don't believe we're in much of a position where we will be able to uh, take a pit stop. It would be very close, I think, if we did. We've got to sort of rely on the fact that those guys are going to stop. But if we don't, we've just got to nurse that rear left corner back to the finish. Which would be ideal. There we go then, into the final two laps, 8.6 seconds ahead. No issue with fuel at all. We're running uninterrupted laps. Trying to stay clean. Not putting that much stress on the back left tyre, there's only a couple of corners where we're going to do that. Manjano goes to the pits on the mediums. Here's the corner that does the damage. Braga has now broken past Yamanaka as anticipated. 9.2 seconds in the lead. He has not pit stopped. 8.9, he's starting to push. We've just kept some nitro in reserve. We won't push the nitro through right hand corners. Just try and keep it for the stray. Here we go then. Coming to start the final lap, 9.2 seconds in the lead. To take it steady, that rear left is, I would say, on the edge. Just using the nitro to keep us ahead of the field, 9.3, and we're still pulling away. This is good, using the nitro to the point where it's almost expended. Kawakami goes to the pits. 10.3 seconds in the lead, so we're doing just enough. Holding them at bay. Really straightforward drive. Uncomplicated. And a really good way to end the week of the weekly challenges. A really good race, one to get your teeth into, one to learn the Super Formula cars with before you get to the tougher ones at the end. 
for example Fuji still have yet to come first in that race on hard but here we are final corner complete the lap fastest lap of 126 387 as we cross the line in first place some 11.5 seconds ahead of the field that will conclude your your week for the weekly races and there she is 17 minutes 41 seconds some 50 seconds ahead of the final car Hundred and sixty thousand credits. No clean roast bonus. What did I do there that was wrong? Gave somebody a bump, I guess. And a four star ticket to boot. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one. All the best. Take care.